Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to download historical prices from Yahoo Finance. Yahoo Finance is a comprehensive source of data for stocks, stock market indices, ETFs, etc. It has global coverage as well, so it's not just limited to the US market. You can find data from other markets as well. So today, I'm just going to download data on two US stocks. The first one of the first stock I've chosen is Microsoft. So I start typing Microsoft over here. As you can see, the results are already showing up. And this is the one I'm interested in. So I click on that, which takes me to the main page for the shares of Microsoft Corporation. And here you would like to go to the historical data tab. So just click on that, which takes me to a new page. You can already see some prices over here. And there are a number of different filters as well. So let's begin with the time period. I'm going to set my starting date to 1st of January 1990 and my end date to 31st of January 2020. Done. Now, here you can choose between historical prices dividends only or stock splits. In most cases, you would be interested in historical prices, so I'll leave it as that. But occasionally, you might just want data on dividends or stock splits. So let's leave this as historical prices. Finally, finally the data frequency. So you can choose between daily, weekly, or monthly data. So I will go for monthly prices, hit apply. So everything up, updates here. So we've got the most recent observation at the top. If you scroll down, this starts going back in time and it would go all the way back to January 1990. And you can also see the quarterly dividend payments made by Microsoft. So everything is ready here. So I'm just going to hit download. There you go. The file has been downloaded over here. So it's ready. I want to get data on another stock as well. Now I could type the name of the stock here or its symbol over here, but if I do that, and if I go to the historical data tab again, all these filters will be reset. So there's a trick to avoid that. You can simply enter the quote over here. So I want historical prices for Kellogg Company whose symbol is just K, so it already shows up over here. I just enter that and everything has been already updated and the filters have stayed the same. So all I need to do is just to click download again and I'm done. So Microsoft share prices, historical prices downloaded here, Kellogg prices downloaded over here. 